This is Gertrude, an old, broken... My are on to it. Oh my God, what's happened? Rusty, 1997 Ford Galaxy People Carrier that has many different quirks and features. Oh. Oh, it's very stiff. And in this video, I'm spending the next 24 hours living inside, oh. Oh. cooking, oh, mate, it's just, oh. <laughs> and sleeping inside this very special, I'll just sleep like a bit of a stick insect here tonight, and unique car that's like a 1980s hotel on wheels. It feels so strange to be hanging up curtains <laughs> in a car. <laughs> So I said that there is something very special about this Galaxy, and there's a big reason for that, because genuinely, I had a Ford Galaxy which I self-converted into my own little stealthy micro camber back in the day, but this one has been taken to a complete another level. So this Galaxy looks like any normal Ford Galaxy, you've got two seats in the front, you've got three seats in the middle here for three passengers. However, in a normal Galaxy, you have two seats at the back, so it's actually a classic seven-seater vehicle, but that's actually been replaced and taken out and made into a kitchen. But the very unique feature about this car, it's got a bloody pop top. I think this conversion of the pop top is a bit of a handmade bodge job. Two hours later, et voila, the pop top on a seven seater family car. Something I've never seen before. And why the hell did I not think of this with my old Galaxy? I've had to turn the engine on. Now it sounds like the things are gonna blow up. I think the fans just come on. So to get inside and out, I think it's probably far easier to come through the back. And as you can see, I'm six foot two and I can stand up fully in here. And the answer is no, I'm not actually going to be sleeping up on top in the actual pop top area like the Mazda Bongo, but I'm actually going to be sleeping right here. So a very simple kitchen setup, which you'd actually find in most professionally built VWs or transporters. But obviously this one has been modified and adapted and specifically built for this Ford Galaxy. On the left hand side here, we've got a two hob gas burner, which hopefully should be working and I can use that tonight to cook up tonight's dinner. And on the right above here, you've got a nice little tap, a sink, and then below me on my right here, we've also got a fridge. So it's obviously a very small cramped vehicle, even though we've got the pop top because it's a car that's been converted into a camper. But you've got a decent amount of storage space on the left hand side with some drawers, with some cupboards, and then again, more storage space for all of your cooking utensils. So I know I said this has been quite handcrafted, this pop top, and it really has. They've literally just bolted on this actuator to the frame that they've obviously cut out of the actual original Ford Galaxy and then put this pop top on top. It's obviously been there quite a few years. It looks quite old school, but you know what? It's done the job perfectly. Now, because this is an old car, everything's a little bit stiff. Rotate. Oh, baby, here we flipping go. Where's the lever? Oh. oh, it's very stiff. I think it's as far back as it goes. Maybe I need to tilt this forward, probably. I've not quite worked out the exact process of this one. Oh, there we go. Tonight's throne and palace. One chair sorted, which means if you wanted, if you've got a beautiful view like we've got tonight, chill here, could probably tilt this back a bit to get that reclining sofa action going on. Legs up, lovely jubbly, and relax. Fucking hell, the birds are bloody rampant tonight. <laughs> Forget doggers, it's gonna be birds all over the place. So obviously there's not a huge amount of cooking or work surface space in here. However, very clever, to add a bit of additional work surface space, oh, all I've got to do is slide off the top of the sink, pop this out, and then slide this on. And now I have got a little bit of extra chopping space. So I've got all of the ingredients for tonight's dinner that we picked up on the way here because believe it or not, I've driven four hours all the way from down south to up north here in Leeds to come and check out this Ford Galaxy with the pop top. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give the video a like. But tonight's recipe actually comes from Shred underscore Shed Adventures. Haley and Richard, big, big, massive thank you for sending in this recipe. Tonight, I'm gonna be attempting to cook 
What have we got? Fusilli sausage pasta. I'm gonna shut as many doors as I possibly can because there are so many insects knocking about and I don't fancy another night of swatting insects at 2am in the morning. Where are you, bastard? So the recipe said for some high quality Italian sausages, but as always, I couldn't find any high quality Italian sausages, so I just went for some taste the difference six pork sausages. We got some parmesan, we got some fusilli, of course, because we're basically cooking up kind of a sausage spaghetti bolognese. Bash up the fennel seeds and chilies in a pestle and mortar. <laughs> well, there's not a chance I've got a a what? Squeeze the meat out of the sausage skin and put into the pan. This is probably why you're supposed to buy a high quality sausage because this is literally just disintegrating. We're gonna do a wheel butcher job on this and just mash all of this sausage up in a pan. I do apologize, Haley and Richard. I'm sure this is not how the recipe is meant to go, but um, that's my fault for being an absolute cheapskate on the sausages. Oh, mate, it's just, I need to spin my whole body around. <laughs> oh. Honestly. <laughs> We're very almost there. That's kind of slightly a browning off. The last ingredient for tonight is the wine, which I need to add in and let reduce. I don't re tell me when, then, because I haven't got a clue. Yeah, that's probably. Right. The last time I used wine in a recipe was in the Coq Vin, and that tasted great. So I'm hoping that this also turns out the same. Now we've got a bit of an Italian sauce going on. Put some Parmesan in there, let it all melt up. And I think, oh, that smells delicious actually. Genuinely smells lovely. Tonight's park up, honestly, wow. I have not seen or heard a picturesque nature scene like this in a long, long time. It looks like something you see out of Bloody Lonely Planet. We're waiting for the pasta to boil up. All you can hear is the birds chirping away in the distance and the sun is setting. It looks absolutely stunning. Good thing about these smaller vehicles is that a lot of the space in here is quite modular. So this, as you saw and as you've seen, works as some additional countertop space, but also will turn into my dining table for tonight. So this metal pole just goes into the floor of the galaxy here. And then can slide this back out, pop that there, and now I've got my dinner table. Probably could have done with a little bit more cream because it's still quite dry. Wow, Zawiwa! Bon appetit! Welcome to Will's restaurant tonight. Where's the fork? Let's see what it tastes like. Looks good, smells good. Cheese, cream, cheap sausages, bit of spice, bit of fennel. It's got a kick to it. Oh Christ. Ah, yeah, that's what happens when you freehand chilies. Mm. What a meal, what a car, and what a park up. Before it gets too dark, I now need to convert all of this back into my bedroom. And then, can you believe it? I don't know what the time is. 20 to 10. Get it all set up, ready for bed, and then get an early night. And uh, hopefully the birds calm down, because at the moment it's very noisy. I'm going to shut up shop get all the windows closed, get all the doors closed, and then get inside before I get eaten alive by the insects. I only actually need to convert one of these into one single bed because I don't need two single beds, that's for sure. I'm gonna try and do this from the inside. Oh! Oh, oh. oh me. Fuck, you bastard. Just got a piece of metal straight in the back. I'm gonna have to open the door quick. Okay, I need something from up here. One of those pillow units, but I can't remember which one was which. Hopefully it was this one. Wow. My feet again, like most of the vehicles, do seem to be touching the end. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but I've slept in far worse conditions. I'll just sleep like a bit of a stick insect here tonight with not much movement. The beautiful thing about this little Ford Galaxy, we've actually got a curtain that runs all the way completely around the windows. Mate, I think this is so clever. There's just these little poppers scattered all around the van or the car. That's bloody brilliant. There's even some poppers down here. Oh my God. There's poppers underneath the air outlets. So that stops them hanging there. There we go. We are all popped in the front. Curtain's done. The last two middle side windows to do. It feels so strange to be hanging up curtains. 
<laughs> in a car. Right, I think that's it. Look at us. Voila. That is a hell of a setup, and I genuinely think tonight I should sleep okay. It's certainly cozy in here. And 100% though, there's so much more extra space than what I used to have in the old car. Even though in the old Galaxy, I did have a full on single comfortable mattress. But uh, tonight we shall make do with what we've got. I've got the windows open to get a bit of ventilation in. I've pretty much squashed and killed all of the bugs. Oh mate, they're literally everywhere. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? That isn't bad at all. Apart from the fact that <laughs> It is very thin, so there's not going to be a huge amount of movement. Hey, there we go. I've made myself a little bit more extra space to kind of maneuver around by adding this uh, centerpiece back in. So uh, yeah, there's a bit more space for my arms and stuff, but uh, very tight at the bottom there. Feet touching, curtains set up all around. It has been super, super nostalgic. I have to say, being back in a Ford Galaxy, where this channel and my love for camping in vehicles kind of came from. Oh. And uh, to be back in another Ford Galaxy, even though it's slightly, well, very different to my own one, it's uh, it's been a very nostalgic and emotional is the wrong word to use, but. In a sense, it has been a little bit emotional, but it's been good fun. And um, yeah, life has kind of done a full circle. Good morning. Oh dear. I think it's safe to say that, uh, yeah, they're not blackout blinds, that's for sure. As always, that wasn't the best sleep I've ever had. Tell you what though, this is not a bad view to wake up to in the morning. What a lovely little park up, although there was a few dodgy noises last night. Seemed to be a few people driving in, having a bit of fun, and then uh, driving off. Good morning, all. I've had a couple of messages already this morning from people who have recognised this park up because I took an Instagram story of it last night, and I had a message from Sue this morning who said, lovely place, but don't fancy your chances getting any sleep. Winky face. And me and Ben know exactly what she's on about because there was a few noises in the bushes. But it feels nice to be out of the galaxy, to be able to actually stretch properly. My medical bill for the chiropractor is going to be absolutely massive. By the end of this video, I'm running off into these bushes where some hanky-panky stuff happened last night to empty my bladder. What have you done, Ben? I haven't done anything. <laughs> I've opened the door. Ah! What's happened? Technical difficulties! Radio's on, how do you turn that off? Wipers are on! <laughs> oh my god! What's happened? Oh, I've got indicators on, I've got wipers on. I don't know what is going on here this morning. The people have an anky panky, must have buggered with the van in the middle of the night. Anyway, I was trying to pack up. Ben opened this door. Some alarm just went off. Let's see if it goes off. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna pack the rest of this away. The alarm was pinging off for some reason and then the radio came on, then this came on, then the wipers came on, then, oh God, hell broke loose. Oh. So I thought before I completely pack all of this away, we will end this video by doing a Rate My Camper. If you're not aware of what that is, it's where I've chosen five categories from driving experience, stealthiness, cooking facilities, comfort, and the quirkiness of the vehicle. And I'm gonna be rating them from one to five, just to show you guys my overall thoughts and experience of being in this camper. So in terms of the driving experience for this one, what a journey it has been to be back in another Ford Galaxy. For me, honestly, it is like driving the smoothest car possible. So the driving experience on this car gets an absolute five out of five for me. So the stealthiness for this vehicle, the fact that on a road, when you're driving it, it looks like a normal Ford Galaxy. You could actually squeeze under height barriers, but then when you actually get under the height barrier, like we've done, you could pop it up and have so much more extra space because of the pop top. 
it's got to be a five out of five for stealthiness. Cooking facilities, it's a bit cramped. It's a little bit claustrophobic. There's not a huge amount of space. So cooking facilities, we're probably gonna go for a two out of five. The comfort of this, <sighs> <sighs> yet again, like the Jimny Suzuki, it was another tight squeeze. I couldn't stretch my legs out. The pillows that you're actually sleeping on, which make up the mattress, not particularly comfy at all. My back is in absolute bits. I'm tempted, to be honest, to go for a one out of five for this, but I think because I love a Ford Galaxy, because I've got so much history and passion for these cars, I'm gonna go for a two out of five. And the last category is quirkiness. And for me, it doesn't get much quirkier than a Ford Galaxy with the roof cut out and a pop top handcrafted and put on top. So for quirkiness, the fact that this vehicle shouldn't have this kind of setup on top, it's gotta to be a five out of five. It's time to head on out of Leeds, say farewell to this beloved Ford Galaxy. So many fond memories. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give the video a like. Please make sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you next week with who knows what vehicle.